So we've seen the real deal at the professional level. Now we see the real deal at the high school level in the girls mile. Dahlia Frias of Miracosta High School, the national leader. She's run 4.35.06. She was also leading the country in the 3,000. She chose to run the mile here at Oregon Relays. She comes in with about a 10 second cushion on Ella Borshim, the senior from Bellarmine Prep, who is a top 10 miler and top 10 3,000 meter runner that'll also join her in this field. Again, Frias is the headliner, but there is some depth here. You got Borshim, you've got Maya Batchelor out of Canada, the 17 year old who's the Canadian U16 champ, over 800 meters. Two from Buchanan and Clovis, California, Sydney Sundgren and Sierra Cornette Sundgren. Uh, a 4.54 mile best and a part of a Buchanan team that won the 4x1600 at Arcadia this year. You have 11 high school girls in this field that have broken five minutes, 11. And, and just a note about Dahlia Frias, you know, she's fourth on the all-time mile list. But, and I'm, I'm from that area. You know, Manhattan Beach is not a place where you expect to find great middle distance runners, and they've done a terrific job with that program over there. You know, that's a just about every Los Angeles King hockey player lives there. It's a great beach volleyball mecca, surfing mecca. Little League, I think, is the largest in the country. And here now, they're churning out middle distance runners, and look at the tempo that she's already setting. That's her in the lead, and she wow. means business, Bill. She is on her way to Duke next year. She could pick from basically any college of her choosing. Chose to head to Durham next season. Again, she goes from 209 in the 800 to 435 in the mile to inside of 10 minutes in the 3200. She won the state cross country championship in California this year and then finished fifth at the Garmin National Championship. She said the biggest key for her success this year, Tom, has been not the physical prowess, but mental work. She said there was a time when the high expectations of her talent really used to overwhelm her. She'd get way too nervous. She'd overthink things at the start line. She said now her motto is let it go and run for fun. And I'd say it's fun when you're winning, and she is winning almost every time she's out there right now. You know, she runs free. You can tell um, the... Uh she runs very relaxed. Uh, you can tell that by looking at her arms and looking at her head and looking, you know, really at her whole trunk. She's just very, very relaxed. I am very interested in seeing her go head to head against Sadie Englehart, the ninth grader from Ventura, who is a 435 16 miler uh, at the California State Championships. That should be very special. So it's Frias out in front, and then the uh, chase pack has a number of the other contenders. Borshim of Bellarmine Prep up in Washington is sitting there in that second spot. The Canadian from Kitsilano High School, Maya Bachelor, in good contention, as is uh, Eliza White of Curris and Sydney Sundgren of Buchanan. But nobody keeping up with Frias, who built that three-second lead over the first lap. Yeah, I mean, this is, you're talking about 11 that have broken five, and she has a lead like this. I mean, it is just absolutely phenomenal. Hard to believe that she could have this big a lead. That's the kind of talent we're talking. Now it's Bachelor moving up to take second, the 17 year old from Vancouver. 459 indoor mile PR. Bachelor goes 209 in the 800, 425 in the 1500. She's been running in the U.S. a lot this season. She finished fourth at the Stanford Invitational in the 800 earlier this year. Uh, but nobody in the screen around Frias right now. 220.9 for 880 yards for Frias. So right on that you know, 441, 442 pace. And that's why no one else was in the screen with her, because she opened up like that. Great race for How about second, this though, bunch, Bill. Yeah, this bunch packed behind for second. And in a way, you got to applaud the race tactics of the other runners here. You know, your tendency, you're a high schooler, you want to win this race. You want to try and go out and match Dahlia Frias, but if you do that and you blow up, you finish outside the top five or top ten. Uh, good discipline from Bachelor, Borshim, Sundgren, and Co. Nobody out there trying to stick with Frias instead running their race and really racing for second at this point as Frias comes to the bell. 72 seconds on the last trip around and at 3.34 time heading into the final lap. 
in the race for second. A good move now coming from Curtis's Eliza White, who was the 16th seed of 16 invited here. She's not looking to finish 16th. She's running herself up into a top two spot right now. She is, she is, but there is a big pack there right behind her and whether she made a move too early, you don't know. See if Frias decides to give it a real kick here or if she's content with the big win. Only thing that'll really determine is how much she wins by and, and what kind of time she's putting together here. Does not look like this will beat her time from the Azusa distance meet of champions when she ran 435.06 to set the national lead this year. But it's still going to be one of the best times running in the country this year. It is. Dahlia she's going to run around. She's going to run around 4:42 here, which is really impressive. Here she comes, Dahlia Frias, just to tick past 4:32 to 4:43:32, and it is Eliza White holding on for second. A massive PR for her. White goes 4:50:39. Grace Hutchinson from Buchanan High School runs 451.33. Maya Beachler 451.56. And Sydney Sundgren rounds out the top five in 451.77. Eliza White with that 450 becomes the number 12 performer in the country this year. And she was not on our radar coming into this race. Eight young women broke five minutes here in this one race, which is really impressive. And it was all Dahlia Frias for sure. Um, it would have been nice to uh, have a little bit of competition for her, but, you know, that's a heck of a time for running solo, 443.32. It really was a time trial for her, but that's what she's been used to, it, and not just in the 1500 when she's out there right now. She's winning races and winning them by pretty massive margins. Good races for White. Hutchinson moves up into a top 15 spot in the country this year with that 451. Same story for Sundgren. One of the